Hello, how are you doing? Please excuse my dishevelled appearance. I'm just out for a, a morning stretch of the legs in the sunshine with my son Bevan. There he is. And I thought I'd share a story with you. So, oh, hopefully you can hear me over the wind. Some of you will have heard me tell stories in the past about Rhiannon. Now, Rhiannon. Rhiannon was a wonder. Rhiannon comes from the ancient medieval Welsh tale known as the Mabinogion. Rhiannon emerged from out of magic and mystery, riding a white horse, just when her husband-to-be, Puach, needed her most. Now, Puach was the Lord of Pived, and so when they were married and Rhiannon joined him as the ruler of that mortal realm in southwest Wales. But he was mortal, and so time passed, and after a, a long and very full and eventually happy life, many happy years together, then he died. But their son, Prideri, their son Prideri had been off to the wars, great war, in which nearly all the fighting people of Britain had died. But he'd returned as one of the lucky survivors, and he brought with him his friend Manawadan. Manawadan, who was the brother of the king who had fallen in those wars. And Manawadan, with all his family gone, lost and lonely, he took his friend for today's offer of a home and a new family he came to live in Duvet. And the story tells us he married Rhiannon, Prideri's mother, which was Prideri's idea, but it didn't happen unless Rhiannon agreed to it. And so things might all have been well, but one, excuse me, oh, catch my breath for dramatic effect there, one fateful day as they climbed the sacred mound. This one's sacred to golfers the world over. As they climbed a sacred mound, then without warning, well, their normal life was rather taken away from them. Because the world suddenly became empty. Their land was suddenly bare. As great clouds of strange fog rolled in out of nowhere and suddenly they couldn't see any of their normal friends or companions and when the fog cleared then there was no one around them and they oh, found the whole place empty and they went back to their home and well they wondered how on earth they were going to how they were going to get their food and how they were going to cope without being able to see friends or family or whether they'd all go mad, just shut up with each other. Just Prideri and Rhiannon and Manawadan and Prideri's wife, Kigva, just the four of them, would they all be absolutely insanely annoyed with each other with no one else for company? But the story tells us they made it work. They were resourceful. For all that they were great lords and ladies, they found that when times needed to, they could hunt and they could fish. And eventually, they even learned how to make crops grow. And when necessary, but only with due caution, then they travelled out to England, where there were towns that they could visit and they could make their living as best they could. And there were tense times because sometimes the people that they were finding themselves among in those towns, well, they, they were feeling a bit precarious as well and they were trying to very much protect their own. And, and so their horizons became somewhat short, shall we say, and there was hostility and even threat of violence. But Manawadan every time would say, no, we don't want to cause any trouble. We've got to just make this work and off he went and they moved on 
And to be honest, maybe they should have avoided unnecessary travel in the first place. But uh, eventually, Manoedan, growing his crops, found himself confronted with uh, the evil that has caused all their ills. And in a showdown of wills and wits, then he proved to be the more cunning. And with his resourcefulness, rather than his hostility and aggression, then he won the day. And after what seemed like many years, then ah, their land returned to normal again. Ah. And I was hoping that by the time I finished this story, you'd be able to see all the dog walkers that have been out in all the time that we've been walking here. <laughs> we've come to a place where actually we happen to be the only ones here, but I think you'll agree. It all looks pretty normal and pretty splendid. I hope you guys, whatever's going on for you, are all right. You take care of yourselves and I'll look forward to seeing you again either in the ether like this or in person again someday. Take care.